Hello, James Craddock with the Igestalk Creative Thinking Strategy. You're in the Sixth Sense Arena. And uh, this is an amazing arena. I again thank you and commend you for making it this far, but we've yet but scratched the surface. We have a long ways to go. There's a lot of information yet to come about, but you are at the crux of our training. Now, you are definitely at a very uh, uh, significant intersection in the seven arenas, but then that's going to get compounded when we get to the Igestalt. Uh, strategy and the sixth sense arena is one of the first ones that we address when we get into the strategy the purpose of this aspect of the training is to again frame the sixth sense so that you can first of all believe that it exists the sixth sense has a lot of connotations people um, talk about the sixth sense in many different contexts and when they do that, sometimes the sixth sense is a magical place. Sometimes it's a culmination of the five senses. Uh, it's typically very esoteric and uh, intangible. Um, the, uh, the ether is uh, one way of people having described the sixth sense. Um, the acacia records is another way that the sixth sense has been described. Um, it cannot, nobody can sit there and prove it and, and give you physical evidence of the sixth sense. So, therefore, it is more important that we build upon the previous arenas and the format that we've created in order to establish a structure of tangible attributes that makes the Sixth Sense Arena come alive and also gives us handles by which to manipulate that Sixth Sense Arena. Um, when we get, and, and again, by putting these all into arenas and making you think of them that way, it's much easier to accept that there is a sixth sense because you're recognizing that it's just simply a, uh, a frame of reference in the entire human experience. But at the same time, the sixth sense is very real because of some of the attributes of data that exist in the sixth sense. All information and all, all uh, 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 ideas and, and truth abounds in the sixth sense. And in the sixth sense is, is everything that we need um, as temporal human beings and in, in our universe, everything that is necessary to hold it all together and make it all function and make it all work. It's all contained in the sixth sense. Nothing new under the sun. It's already established and it's already there. It's just how we access it. And what we are heading into in this century is now, like I said in the previous video, standing on the subconscious arena with a, a very good grasp of, of that arena. And we're now exploring the sixth sense arena. We're doing so in such a way that as people are tapping in and discovering what's in the sixth sense and then they harness the power of it, some are doing it in such dynamic ways that it becomes um, a, a, a monument of worship. It becomes an idolic, uh, I, I, idolatrous type of icon that they think is the ultimate arena. And, and when they reach into that sixth sense and they discover, hey, I can actually harness what it is that I need, well, now it, now that sixth sense arena takes on a form uh, that supersedes uh, the, the eternal arena and supersedes our moral code if we think that by having the power in the sixth sense arena, by having that power, if we believe that, that we are unto ourselves and we're, if you will, gods, then we've missed the, the boat. Because it's always been with us. We've always had access to the Sixth Sense Arena. We've just not always had the ability to harness that access when and where we need it. And that's really what the Eigestalt strategy is all about, is to teach you how to harness that Sixth Sense. But by no means do we want to give you so much confidence in harnessing of that power, which has always been there, that you think that it manifests you above the very nature of God himself or above the very nature of nature and the elements that we see in this entire harmony. We are truly in need of a humble spirit and a servant's attitude towards this entire process. Yes, it's powerful. Yes, it will bring you closer to your to realizing your dreams. Yes, it will give you an edge over your competition. Yes, it may even walk you into realms that are 
I like to call supranatural, meaning they're not truly supernatural uh, uh, angels and demons and, 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 and spiritual beings, but they are above the conscious level. They are above the natural physical arena and, and, and above the everyday common reality that we are all exposed to and, and comfortable with. Um, they get to a point where you're operating in, with a set of laws that, that go beyond the set of laws everybody else does. Just like the rich, we've been taught by the likes of a Robert Kiyosaki uh, and uh, uh, Trump and, and other uh, progenitors of financial success. We've been taught that the rich work with different laws and different planes of thought and different realities. Rich Dad, uh, not uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but um, uh, Thinking Like a Millionaire, Thinking Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, those kind of books set the laws in motion and in print for us to be able to digest and 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 start to utilize ourselves that more of us could become financially stable this is the same thing i'm we're putting into effect here in the sixth sense uh, arena laws and principles and tangible evidence that we can take and operate in a different uh, at a different level and gain results that can be transmuted into the physical world and uh, to our success and to our benefit but we need to be very careful that we recognize that that's really all we're doing I go back to my initial statement this is a strategy and it is nothing more than a strategy it is not meant to be a religion it's not meant to be um, uh, some sort of a uh, uh, mindset it, it, it truly does um, change your paradigm in, in the way you think and it I guess does give you a bit of a new mindset but it's not meant to supersede what already is because the sixth sense arena already is we've always been able to tap it but very few individuals have had the knowledge to tap it and then really the knowledge to tap it and the understanding and then the boiling it down into a strategy that can be taught has never been done and that's where this Eigestalt creative thinking strategy is unique and that's why you having access to it is going to empower you and put you in the starting blocks of a race that is yet to even begin um, the Sixth Sense Arena hopefully by the time we're done is a much more natural thing for you and that you interact with it and that you don't find it to be so spooky and and so meta uh, metaphysical as it, it has been previously described it does sustain many metaphysical characteristics no doubt it is intangible no doubt we're gonna to try to make it more tangible but at the same time it's just as real as this video camera I'm talking into this tree my skin watch whatever it is a real place and when you can digest that and accept that well now you can walk into it you can learn how to navigate it and you can pull down what it is that you need and that's what you're gonna find out in this module and then when we get into the actual strategy we're going to go even further into that concept and show you how to pull things out and uh, so this is an exciting part of the series and I trust that you will go into it with an open mind you are hopefully going into it with the uh, foundation that's been laid through the previous arenas and um, as we as we approach it um, give us your feedback let us know let us let us answer your questions let us know what you think um, tell us how it impacts you and and I want to hear the excitement if if that exists of, of this awareness of this arena because once you're aware of it, you're going to want to tap it. That is what it's going to be all about. I'm going to show you in the strategy how to tap this arena. Once you discover what the, is in this arena and, and, and the reality of it, you're not going to want to sit still until you know how to get at it and apply it in your life. So with that, enjoy the, enjoy the module and give us your feedback and then look for additional videos and application uh, throughout the Institute. Continue to browse the Institute. Don't stay in one place. You need to go through the course in order, but feel free to look at the other links and go to the other places, check out the forum, check out the community, interact with people, get some insight, tell us what we can do for you, and, uh, and we'll look forward to the interaction. And remember, here we are. Creativity is the success.